everyone. Chef Kimberly here today with Chef David Rizzo. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> um, so we have a little special treat for you today. We are in the Decor Theater showroom in Irvine, California, and we will be cooking on their live contemporary line. Right, Chef right, David? Yeah, I'm excited. Um, so I'm going to be doing an olive oil cake with some baked persimmons, um, and then it's going to have this nice cranberry glaze on the bottom, some toasted nuts, uh, and just have all this flavor that we're going to be working with today. It's so good. So I think we should get started on the dessert. So let's get started, David. So we have some persimmons here. Um, they are not too ripe. They're still a little hard, but we're gonna be baking them, so that's okay. Um, you could use ripe persimmons, but for this, for now, this is good. Um, so David, I'm gonna have you go ahead and cut the ends off first, and then we're going to peel the sides and then cut them in half. Okay. Um, so what we're gonna be doing with that is we are going to warm up some water with uh, this thing we call piloncillo. Um, it's kind of like a sugar cane. We like to use it with uh, some like yams. It's kind of yep. like a traditional Tradition. Hispanic uh, Thanksgiving side dish. Mm -hmm. um, it's really good. I love it. I love the flavor of it. It's kind it's of almost uh, like a oh, nutty, I would very, think. Yeah, yeah so like very, a kind nutty. Of earthy mm -hmm. sugar. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. I love using it. So I'm going to get started with this. Uh, we're using three eggs. We're going to use one lemon zest and then some sugar. So we're going to go ahead and put that in the mixer first. And then today, like I mentioned, we're going to be working on the contemporary line, but Decor actually has three different lines that you could choose from. They have their transitional, contemporary, and their professional line. So if you kind of want to come check out the differences with it, you can come uh, in here and kind of see it all or go online. It's really impressive. You know, uh, one of the things that I noticed is that it's just so uh, user friendly, so easy to use. Oh, I know. I was able to just, you know, I haven't been using this line very much at all. And, and for me, it was very easy to just go in there and just dial in what I needed to do mm -hmm. and just uh, run some uh, some tests. And it was just beautiful. Yeah. It was I very, very easy. I love on this line, the uh, seven inch uh, LCD screen on there. I think mm -hmm. it, that also helps too, you know, mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. with the glasses, we kind of mm -hmm. need some help with <laughs> our vision. And um, also the rails, I love how they just kind of pull out so easily. Um, that's really an advantage when you're cooking with really high heat. You want to be able to work fast and you want to be able mm -hmm. to work safely. And for me, that's, that's really important as well. So Go ahead and place them in here. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think it's awesome that this range comes with a steam oven built in because if you don't have that space on your walls mm -hmm. or um, if you don't have the ability to do a water line on there, you can actually just get the whole steam experience absolutely. with your range. Yep, so it's yeah. not taking up as much space. Yep, it's, it's kind of like the dream range for me because you have the elements of steam that you can work with and you also have the high heat from the oven uh, here for doing broiling or anything like that. And mm -hmm. uh, it's just a, a great way to cook when you have everything. Yeah. Um, Okay, Chef David, so our next step is we're going to take the piloncillo with some cinnamon, some allspice, and a little bit of ginger, and we're going to put that in one cup of water and heat it over the stove okay, and yeah. let that kind of dissolve. Let's do that. We're going to use a small burner here so we can use that really low heat that I think this range is excellent yeah. at. So I'll let you go ahead and do that. And while he is doing that, I am going to work on my cake. What I'm doing here is I'm taking the sugar and the eggs and we're just going to mix it until it's a nice light color. We call it the ribbon stage. So it takes about five minutes to go ahead and do that. So while that's going, I'm going to take a bowl and I'm going to go ahead and this is flour, cake flour, two cups of cake flour, about a quarter cup of cornmeal, some baking soda and some baking powder. I'm just going to give that a quick mix just to kind of break up the lumps. Quick little mix. And then I have, of course, our olive oil cake because it wouldn't be an olive oil cake without olive oil, right? You need the olive oil for sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so what I'm going to do, once this is nice and mixed, I'm going to go ahead and do um, kind of like what, uh, some flour, oil, flour, but you always end with the flour. So this is their combination double oven. It actually has a speed oven on top and then a convection oven on the bottom. But today I'm going to go ahead and use the convection oven. <coughs> Start it at 400. This is so easy. I mean, literally just touch. Very intuitive. Right. I'm wearing gloves and it's, it, it picks up my finger right yeah. away. So I'm just going to go ahead and press start. So that is preheating and it's telling me it's 175. So the oven is letting you know along the process what temperature right. it is. So this is at my ribbon stage. I'm going to go ahead and turn it. Um, lower it a little bit because I don't want flour to fly all over my face. I already have enough makeup on. <laughs> all, right. all right. So all right. flour sure first. Melting. Give it a quick mix. Not too high. All right. And then I'm gonna take some olive oil. Once that's kind of incorporated in there, I'm gonna take my olive oil. 
Wow, this smells amazing. Right? Yeah. It's, it's like Christmas holidays. Absolutely, yeah. That's what it reminds me yeah. of. And a quick mix, and then the last of the olive oil. Right there. So here is my last of my flour. Team up, team up. Then you're gonna get a quick mix, and then I'm gonna scrape the bowl to make sure I'm not I don't have any lumps at the bottom. So here we have our olive oil mix. You can see in here, I'm just gonna kind of Ooh, take that's this. Nice. That's nice. Okay, yep. so quick <clears throat> scrape on the bottom. This looks pretty well. Is that melted? Dissolved. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you're just gonna go ahead and pour that on top of um, the persimmons. Look at that nice Same color. Thing. Look at yeah. a nice amber Ooh, color. Nice. Yeah. There we go. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. All right. So we'll go ahead and put it in the steam oven. And it has a water reservoir on the top that you just fill up right before you're about to use it. So we'll go ahead and set that um, for about 40 minutes. Oh, wow, look at that soft. Do you see that soft clothes yeah. on there? Yeah, Isn't that was that beautiful. Awesome? Yeah. I, I love just... that soft clothes. OK, let's start again. And that's really easy, too. You just go in any race, delete what you had, and yeah. just enter what you want to enter. It's like literally it mimics a computer. Um, exactly. Which I think really shows uh, the, the integration with Samsung. No. So I'm going to pour a little sugar on here. <clears throat> so this has a little parchment paper, olive oil, and then some sugar. And then I'm going to go ahead and pour the batter. I'm doing two little cakes here. One for you, one for me. One for you. Yeah. I could eat this entire thing myself. <laughs> it's so good. With some coffee. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah it's uh, so good. That, that would be our, late, our later snack. <laughs> for sure. Okay, just kind of giving that. Make Looks sure like to get all of it. Perfectly portioned. Oh Good yeah, job. thank you. Yeah. Kind of smooth it out. Make sure you spread it evenly on here so you get a nice even cake. <clears throat> Love this. All right. And then Beautiful. of course sugar. You need more sugar. <laughs> we're gonna take some sugar and we're gonna go ahead and pour it on top. Just like that. And that also gives it this really nice crust. Nice little brown crust. Mm -hmm. That'll be very nice. All right. So, do you mind opening Good the oven stuff. for me, Chef David? Okay, let's go. Right there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in here. So this is gonna take about 25 minutes, or until it's done, you're just gonna insert a toothpick in there. I wanna show that soft close. Look at that. Beautiful. How nice that is. All right. So let me set a timer for this. Go ahead and do 25 minutes, and I'll go ahead and check on that. Press OK. <clears throat> All right, and there you go. And then you can set Perfect. multiple timers too. So if you're cooking multiple things out in one oven, you actually do separate timers on there. So that's, that's always really helpful. Yeah, very helpful, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to like use your phone or anything yeah, like that. That's exactly what I do. I end up going to my phone and I use this timer there. Or... Okay, so now since we have our cake baking in the oven, and I forgot to mention this earlier, um, but you preheat your oven at 400 and then you drop it to 350. Um, so don't forget that, drop it down. So you still want that heat in there, but you don't want it to be too hot. Right. Um, so now what we did is we did the compote ahead of time. So it's cranberries and blackberries, a little bit of lemon juice and sugar, really simple. But what I'm gonna have David do is go ahead and keep it on the low simmer to kind of um, loosen it up a little bit because it does stiffen up when you put it in the fridge. So uh, David, I'll have you go ahead All and right. do that. I got that for you. And this goes down to 800 BTUs, which is ideal for something like this because you definitely don't want to burn it. It's got so many it's got the sugars sugar, in there so easily. The natural sugars from the berries, it that's gonna burn so easily. easily. Yeah. Yes, correct. <clears throat> Another thing I've noticed too is the lighting here, the LED lighting on the knobs. Mm. Um, just a beautiful, just a nice ring around uh, that knob. Uh, yeah, it's just it a kind of a great little added feature, added accent. Yeah. It's a really a beautiful piece also in the kitchen. Um, they, they usually, you'll get the brass, uh, the brass rings, uh, caps. Oh, and yes. Yeah. All right, so see, they're like this. They're nice, really golden. Um, you don't want to cook on these because they're going to get they're gonna get dark and dirty. So anytime you have people over and you're not cooking, maybe you catered or something, you go ahead and put these on there, kind of give a little show. Um, I think it looks beautiful. Yeah, yeah. All right, so he's doing that. I'm going to do a mascarpone whipped cream that we're going to be using, a cup and a quarter of heavy cream. Oh, yeah. Then I'm taking about eight ounces of mascarpone. This is going to whip up really fast. So you have to be careful. When we we're testing, I was talking to David at some point, and then all of a sudden I made butter. <laughs> <laughs> I turn around, and this thing is like butter. It happens quickly. It does. <clears throat> a little bit, about a tablespoon of sugar. You can use powder, powdered sugar, regular sugar. So I have a vanilla bean. Oh, it's so beautiful. Nice. Vanilla bean. Oh, I the, love that. 
It's <laughs> super expensive vanilla bean. <laughs> this is a luxury right here. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, but it's such a great flavor, such oh, a yeah. rich vanilla flavor. Kind of toss it in there and it's gonna give it a pretty like speckled look to it, to your whipped cream. All right, and that's it, pretty simple. We're just gonna go ahead and turn this on. Like I said, really quick. So we're just kind of waiting for a stiff peak on that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also another thing I want to mention is it has Wi-Fi enabled. Yes. Yeah, so you can actually control this from whatever room or if you're at the grocery store and you decided you want to buy these appetizers at Trader Joe's that you want to try, you can actually turn on your oven right before you get home. So that is an awesome feature to have. <clears throat> and so I think the cakes are pretty much about done. I'm going to go ahead and pull them out of the oven. So I'm going to use one today. So I'm going to go ahead and set that down. Look at that. It smells. It smells good. Yeah. It smells like a, really like nice. a biscuit. <laughs> Yep, yep. All right, so we have our cranberry kind of compote here staying nice and hot. I have some water um, boiling, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that once we get ready to plate. So the persimmons, we, we steamed for about 40 minutes. Now what we're gonna do is switch to broil mode. We're gonna broil it for about 10 minutes or broil a little high. less. Yeah, broil high. Um, we just want kind of a nice browning on okay. them. All right, so I'm gonna take this cake and I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of here. Just gonna run my knife through on the side. Got a nice little crust it gets. Loosen it up. Loosen it up. So it's sugars. Yeah, all that sugar yeah. in there. That wonderful sugar. Yeah. There, there you go. go. Beautiful. So Perfect. Just take off the parchment. So I love it. It's almost like a like a cracker cake. So I'm gonna kind of just cut the edges off so you could taste Chef David. You know, almost reminds me of a little biscotti. That's why I uh -huh. call it like a little biscuit Beautiful. cookie. Nice little square pieces, <clears throat> a rectangle. A I'm gonna check on that. Yeah, not yep. burning. It's on super no, low, so we don't have to worry about it burning. Really low simmer there. Super, super low. It's really beautiful too. Nice there and viscous. Go. Very glossy. Very nice. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and set this aside. I can already smell the sugars kind of caramelizing in there. I'm kind of just getting my components together. I'm gonna to take some of the this little kind of like pecan praline mix that you could just already buy pre-made. We're just gonna chop them up a little bit just to give it a little bit more texture. And uh, a very special component, right? Yeah, some beautiful flowers. I'm gonna go and, ahead and uh, add this back in here. Okay. So I got a little round plate here. We're gonna make a nice little elegant plate. I'm gonna take some of this just kind of want it in the middle and a little bit goes a long way this is very flavorful let me go ahead put my little cake right here so i'm going to take some of these little nuts kind of just sprinkle it here give it an extra little bite all right i'll take that from yeah, me i love the van vanilla beans in there you can actually see beautiful, them beautiful right beautiful so what i'll do is i take some of this hot water and I get my spoon nice and hot. So I'm just gonna go ahead, and this is always fun to do, just kind of scoop it like this, kind of making it like a little football shape. And go ahead and set that right on top of oh, here. Beautiful. Right. Beautiful. We'll take some flowers. Just kind of. Love that. Take some of this Fizzle. liquid, because I think it's, it's chock full of flavor, right? Just take a Absolutely. little bit. I'm gonna pour it on my persimmons, give them that little shiny glaze. Nice. And I think we got it, David. Voila. I think we have Bravo. just a beautiful dessert that you can make at home. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure working oh, it was with great. you. It was so great. It was so much fun. Thank you mm -hmm. for having me. And if you watching through that screen want to come and check this out for yourself, you could come in here personally or virtually. Just visit decor.com slash experiences. Um, book an appointment there and you can come on down and come check this out. Or um, you could also visit perch.com. Um, we also have cells of viruses that are willing to help you, more than willing to help you out um, and kind of introduce these appliances to you. So thank you for joining us. Chef Kimberly out. <laughs> this is one in a series of showcase videos that you can watch on our Perch YouTube channel.